to securely delete files using the command prompt, you can use several techniques that go beyond just sending them to the recycle bin, making the data impossible to be recovered by forensic tools. Here's how you can do it. Type cmd in the search bar and run command prompt as an administrator. You can manually overwrite the file contents with random data before deletion. Overwrite with echo command. Echo, this is junk data, outputs the text, this is junk data to the screen or a specified location. This symbol redirects the output of the echo command to a file which overrides any existing content in that file. Part to sensitive file is the specified file path. Any existing content in this file will be replaced with this is junk data. Navigate to the sensitive folder or file. Copy its path. And paste it in the command. By manually overwriting the file contents with junk data, you replace the original data in the file with non-sensitive text, making it harder to retrieve the original file contents. As the overwritten data partially masks what was there, overwrite the data further by typing echo random text, which outputs the text random text. This symbol appends this text to the end of the specified file rather than overwriting it. Part to sensitive file is the file to which the text will be added. Running this command several times appends additional junk text to the file. This increases the size of the file, further obfuscating its original content. Now it is time to delete the file. Del is a command used to delete files in Windows. Path to sensitive file specifies the exact path and file name of the file you want to delete. When executed, this command will delete the specified file. Overwrite free space. The cipher command is typically used for encryption, but it has a feature that overrides data in a specified location, effectively making deleted files unrecoverable. Cipher is a Windows command primarily used for managing file and folder encryption on NTFS drives. The W or wipe switch tells Cypher to securely overwrite all free space on the drive where the specified directory is located. Path to directory specifies the path to a folder on the drive whose free space you want to securely wipe. Replace part to directory where the sensitive files were stored. This approach is ideal for enhancing privacy after file deletion, making it much harder for anyone to retrieve previously deleted files from free space on the disk. Use secure delete from sysinternals suite. sdelete is a command line utility from Microsoft's sysinternals suite. It securely deletes files by overwriting them multiple times. Open your preferred web browser and search download sdelete. Click the official link and download the latest version for your operating system. Open the downloaded zip file. Extract xdelete executable in the same directory or a system path. Drive C Windows System 32 is the default for Windows system executables. Confirm xdelete executable is extracted to system 32 folder. When done, run the following command. S delete. The P3 option sets the number of override passes. You can increase it for more security. The S option will remove the specified file. Replace path to sensitive file with the actual path of the file you want to delete securely. S delete will display output messages indicating which files are being securely deleted, the progress of each file, and the override status. Use batch script to automate secure deletion. Creating a batch file to repeatedly overwrite and delete files can be useful if you need to secure multiple files at once. Type notepad in the search bar. And press enter. 
at echo of turns off the command display in the command prompt for cleaner output. Any commands following this line won't be displayed. Set local begins a local environment in the script. Any environment variables changed in this scope are reset after end local. This is useful for keeping temporary variables isolated. Echo overwriting file displays the message overwriting file to inform the user that the file is being overwritten. This line writes junk data to path to sensitive file, overwriting any existing content with junk data. This symbol ensures the file is completely overwritten with the new data. Replace path to sensitive file with the actual path of the file you want to delete securely. This line appends additional random data to the file on a new line. This symbol adds content to the end of the file without overwriting the existing content. This adds another layer of random data. Echo overwriting again displays overwriting again to show that an additional overwrite is happening. This line appends more random data to the file to add more layers of random data. This further complicates any data recovery attempt. This line deletes the file from the specified location. Del is a delete command. F forces deletion of any read-only files. Kill enables quiet mode, which deletes without confirmation. This line wipes residual data on the disk where the file was stored. The cipher w command writes zeros to all unused space in the specified directory further ensuring no traces of the deleted file remain on the disk and local ends the local environment discarding any changes to environment variables made within set local echo file securely deleted displays a message indicating the process has completed and the file is securely deleted save the script select file save as choose the file location to save the script then save it as a .bat file. Choose all types as the file type and click save. Now navigate to the location you saved the file and run it with administrator privileges. This script uses several commands to perform a secure deletion of a file by overwriting its content multiple times, deleting it and then wiping residual data. Encrypt with BitLocker. If the data is on a specific drive, encrypt the drive first. Manage BDE is a command line tool for managing BitLocker drive encryption on Windows. On is the switch that enables BitLocker encryption on a specified drive. The C specifies the drive you want to encrypt. Encrypting the entire disk volume before deletion is an extreme but effective way to ensure that even if remnants of files remain, they are encrypted and nearly impossible to recover without the encryption key. After encrypting, proceed with a full disk wipe. If you are wiping a full disk or partition with sensitive data, disk path can clean the entire volume. This will delete everything on the drive or partition. Open disk path. Disk path is a command line disk management tool that allows you to manage disk partitions, volumes, and drives in Windows. Select the disk. List disk displays all physical disks currently connected to the system, including internal hard drives, SSDs, and external storage devices like USB drives. Each disk is shown along with key details. Disk number identifies each disk. Status shows if the disk is online or offline. Size displays the storage capacity of each disk. Free space indicates the amount of unallocated space on each disk. Dynamic or basic specifies if the disk is a basic or dynamic disk. GTP shows if the disk uses the GTP partitioning scheme marked with an asterisk. Use select disk to choose the number you want to work with. Once a disk is selected, any subsequent disk path commands like clean, create partition, or assign letter will apply to this active disk. Clean all is a command used within disk path to securely erase all data on a selected disk by overwriting every sector with zeros. This command effectively wipes the entire disk, making it unrecoverable.